Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Vessel Golden and welcome to my YouTube channel. I almost forgot looking at the camera, I was looking at myself. <laughs> okay, this is a very quick video. I'm just going to talk about something that just happened in my country, Nigeria. <sighs> Over 76 people were arrested in a alleged gay marriage which is very surprising that in 2023 we still experience this in africa i know yes there's a law against being against us lgbt persons in nigeria but also we have a lot of influencers in nigeria who are openly okay they don't say it outright but obviously everybody knows they're part of the lgbt community we have a lot of actors, influencers, and um, content creators who we obviously know who they are. And I would assume that due to their popularity in Nigeria, it will reduce the risks and to reduce the if I, I don't know what I don't I don't know how to say it. I just feel if the society is able to celebrate them as influencers, enjoy their art form. Even if they cross dress, even if they, they put themselves out as gays or trans or whatever they prefer to put themselves out in media, I felt if the society is able to enjoy their artwork, if the society, the society <laughs> I know <laughs> English is difficult. If the society is able to enjoy their artwork and accept them in the disguise of being entertainers then society also should reduce the harsh way they treat us lgbt persons maybe they were just having an innocent birthday party which if you're part of the lgbt community in nigeria you know if you're having a birthday party you're obviously going to invite your friends who are also part of the lgbt community and you also know we all have our in spanish we say plumas we all have our our feathers, our our crowning glory. We go when we go to events, we go well dressed. We go to all of all of our all of our shines and beads and brio. <laughs> Spanish is this right my English. And um I think when they were getting to this party all well dressed, with the way we all dress, we know how we dress in our community, especially the flamboyant. LGBT persons, we dress more flamboyantly, and I think it would have it would have drawn attention to them, and then they assumed they were holding a gay party, and someone would have alerted the police, which have arrested these young innocent children, thrown them in jail, and now accusing them of holding a gay wedding. How is it possible to hold a gay wedding in a country where it's illegal to be gay at the first place? Where you get it? Where do you think we are going to get that marriage license? Which is, I've, I've, I'm, a, I'm a victim. Yes, I've experienced this black and white, so I know how how the police work. They arrest you and they create a story just to make you look more, to make it bad for you, make it more difficult for you. Which is very painful. I remember one time, the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I need water. I remember one time they stopped me and my friends and they accused us of being in a relationship, which is not very possible because there's no way me and my friend could be in a relationship, but they assumed just because they wanted to implicate us more. It's painful. Someone reached out to me from Nigeria saying her friend. Her friend was one of the organizers of the party and um, was the organizer of the party and now he's being held in jail. I don't have a lot of money, of course. I, I work just as a hairstylist here. But I would appreciate if anyone could reach out to help raise funds to at least bail him out of jail and then maybe get a good lawyer for him because it's not easy. This country you, you we, we call our country it's not a home for us this country we call nigeria is so is so hell-bent on destroying us 
for being part of the LGBT community and they glorify arm robbers, they glorify murderers, they glorify child molesters, they glorify rapists. But LGBT persons are demonized, beaten, thrown in jail, not given, not given a little bit of hope to live a decent life. And it's very painful. It's very, very painful. I hope this could stop. And I hope we have a, a day where we can look back at all this and say, okay, there was once a time like this, but now in Nigeria, we are living a free life. I hope this happens. I know with time, hopefully to change, but I don't see that happening right now. I don't see that happening in 10 years. I don't see that happening in 20 years. But I hope for the future generation, they don't, they don't get to go through what we are going through right now as Nigerians. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, drop good comments, and share and like my videos. Thank you so much. I love you all. I am Vessel Golden, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Love you. I keep looking at my reflection. <laughs> That's because I have two cameras. I look at, I enjoy looking at myself. Come on, who doesn't enjoy looking at myself? Okay, goodbye, guys. Go.